Hi, Julian Bruce with McDonald Realty at 116 Highwood Place on Salt Spring Island. Uh, I'm just about to do a full walkthrough video of this house and property and hopefully it's helpful for you to determine if it's a good space for you. Oh, it's a nice sunny lot. There's the sun there. It's about 3.30 on February 5th. I'll just head inside now. Got a great open concept. The current owners have done quite a few recent renovations. Uh, much of this kitchen has been updated and the flooring on the main level throughout has also been updated. All new appliances uh, and there's radiant in-floor heat in this bathroom here. Nice rain shower. This is the main entrance at the back of the house here. There's a coat closet here and shoe storage on the other side. I'll uh, walk out uh, the back once I'm done showing you the inside of the house. And the primary bedroom. There's a nice cedar tree here that shrouds the view to the neighboring house nicely. And, oh, it's hard to get focus here. Uh, that's the, the wellhead right there. There's programmable thermostats throughout as well. And you can see this great big bank of windows in the living room. I believe the Stove here, the fireplace was uh, wet certified in 2020. And then this great loft space with a full bath on the side. So great work from home space up here, or if you did need this as a bedroom, uh, wouldn't be, uh, it would be an ideal space to wall in, uh, put a door right across here, and this would be the landing where that opens up into, maybe put a, a window in this space to let in the natural light. Uh, but you could have a lot of additional privacy in this space if that's what you needed. A nice big deck here, a nice regular shape as well. And we're really centrally located, uh, quite close to Portlock Park. Um, really, you know, a short walk to the Merchant Muse or even uh, all the way to town. Uh, we've got a new septic from 2020. There's the alarm for it. And there's the septic field. And little hot tub under the deck and a cute little family of ducks <laughs> with their own little hot tub <laughs> I understand the ducks in this uh, coop here are going with the sellers of course 
There's a fenced garden area down below and a little greenhouse next to it. I'll go down there in a minute. And we've got uh, rainwater collection here that uh, leads down to that lower garden. It's a great way to um, irrigate your garden but not use your domestic water supply. So as I pointed out in the bedroom, this is the wellhead here. The sellers have told me they've never run out of water. And the property goes way up the hill. Uh, I'll just cover kind of the flat, usable area down here, but um, there is quite a bit of property going all the way up to, uh, to a point. So this is the back entry, but kind of the practical way in. They've got a small dog, hence the little gates here. down here which oops, uh, set up as a workshop right now but there's a lot of inherent flexibility in this space the water purification system was all upgraded in 2020 as well with reverse osmosis uh, there's a UV light as well up here and you, you may note on the property disclosure statement um, there's a small seasonal leak uh, on this back wall here, I think, coming in where you see some staining right there. Um, it is very minor. Uh, both the, the previous owner and the current owners have found it to be, you know, really a non-issue and very manageable just simply with a dehumidifier. But uh, an important thing to disclose. And next to this uh, basin here, there's actually uh, an upgraded and working toilet. So again, kind of adding to the flexibility of this space down here. Uh, it's easily standing height where I am right here, the next level. So yeah, so six feet. So this is the, kind of the next level up. Uh, that zone there is, is not standing height, but uh, everything else is. And of course, all insulated down here and the, the main electrical in right here, I don't recall, uh, 100 amp uh, main bar in. So again, the great southern exposure, southwest exposure, there's a few uh, little orchard kind of in that zone down there. Um, this lawn area, of course, is the septic that I'm standing on. Here is the hose from the rainwater collection tank. That uh, looks about you know, 12 or 15 by 15, something like that. And a little greenhouse. Well, I think that's about it for 116 Highwood Place. I uh, hope you found the video helpful and please 